Bishop Swanson and colleagues of the extended cabinet, I come before you during this ad interim annual conference gathering to give the Dean's report on behalf of the cabinet. We assemble in a virtual manner under the guiding theme of the mission continues. We wholeheartedly embrace the process for carrying out the mission of the church by proclaiming the gospel, seeking, welcome, and gathering persons into the body of Christ, by leading persons to commit their lives to God through baptism by water and the spirit and profession of faith in Jesus Christ by nurturing persons and Christian living, and by sending persons into the world to live lovely and justly as servants of Christ. Since last year's annual conference session, it has been quite evident that the Mississippi Annual Conference has been intentional, innovative, hope-filled, and relentless in its approach to the mission of the church. Our conference has remained faithful and focused operating out of an abundance for caution for all as we navigate through the coronavirus. During these unprecedented times, we remain steadfast by living out the power of we. Our conference has moved forward with an unwavering commitment to dismantling racism. We have worked to develop social structures that are consistent with the gospel. We have endeavored through the power of the Holy Spirit to offer creative ways to reach more people through the lenses of love. As we have accepted Jesus' mandate to love God and to love our neighbor and to make disciples of all people, we believe that extension ministries of the church and local churches provide the most significant arena through which disciple making occurs. With that said, our guide app consists of information on pages 125 through 135 of the pre-conference journal on church closure, discontinuous, church merger, and the church merger is Clarksdale First, Clarksdale First United Methodist Church, and St. Paul United Methodist Church merged to become St. Paul First United Methodist Church in Clarksdale, Mississippi. And also, changes in charge lines. I request that each of you now give your undivided attention to the name of churches along with pictures of church structures for church closure discontinuation. Isola United Methodist Church, Greenwood District. Union Hill United Methodist Church, Meridian District. Lost Gap United Methodist Church, Meridian District. Stalo United Methodist Church, Meridian District. Wesley Chapel United Methodist Church, Meridian District. Ashland United Methodist Church, New Albany District. Box Chapel United Methodist Church, New Albany District. Christ Current United Methodist Church, New Albany District. Crossroads United Methodist Church, New Albany District. Belto United Methodist Church, Starkville District. New Hope United Methodist Church, Tupelo District. Pleasant Grove United Methodist Church, Tupelo District and Grady Chapel United Methodist Church, Tupelo District. Let us not forget the faithful service of these churches and to its community. Let us not forget the clergy who serve as pastors of these churches. Let us pray. O oh God, from whom all blessings flow, we bow our heads in remembrance of the churches who were organized as a part of Christ's holy church and of the United Methodist Church. We thank you for those who sought to fulfill its mission through the spirit-given servant ministry of all Christians. We recall, O oh God, the faithfulness and effectiveness of laity and clergy amongst these churches. We express our deepest appreciation as these churches were gifts for a season and how the many ways these churches serve the mission given to it by Jesus Christ and accomplish its purpose. 
Yet we still declare unashamedly that Christ's holy church is of God and will be preserved to the end of time for the conduct of worship and the due administration of God's word and sacrament, the maintenance of Christian fellowship and discipline, the edification of believers, and the conversion of the world. O oh God, empower the churches that yet remain in the Mississippi Annual Conference to be a part of Christ's ongoing church, and as members who scatter into other congregations, that they shall still be one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, and to Christ come and found a victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Let the church say, Amen. Bishop Swanson, this report is now properly before us for consideration of approval.